Hello there, YouTubers. This is Multi-Redify here, bringing you part two of Cave Story Plus. Now, a few things are different. One thing, I turned down the music and sound ever so slightly since it sounded like they were overpowering my voice, and also the quality should be much, much better. I'm now reporting in full size instead of half size, since that looks kind of bad. And I went ahead and dropped the FPS, but it doesn't seem to make a difference. So, let's go ahead and explore this place. Here we have a Yamashita farm, which I probably mispronounced. And here we have beautiful, beautiful flowers and a nice, touching sprinkler system. This place is so heartwarming and the music fits so well. Let's talk to this guy. This is the farm where we grow flowers. My job is to protect this farm. Tios Mamiga, these flowers are a precious source of food. But not the red flowers. We're racist against red flowers. I heard that if we eat red flowers, our blood pressure skyrockets and we'll die in an instant. Fortunately, on this farm, we don't grow those vile red flowers. So they don't grow red flowers here. What a pity, I love them. And over here we have another life capsule. Let's see how much health it gives us. Max life increased by three. Now, I'm probably... I'm definitely not 100% in this game unless I get really lucky. But, um... I probably won't get all the health since I don't know where they all are. And as far as the ending goes, I know this game has multiple endings, but I will do my best to try and show all of them, even though the best ending I haven't even completed myself. But still, we're going to go ahead and go for it. Now, over here, we're going to go ahead and talk to this guy hiding in his little hole. Jeez, you scared me. Sue? Oh! You mean the girl staying at Arthur's house, right? She lives together with Doriko. That girl's a real cutie. She must be looking for flying dragons. I wonder if there really is such a thing. Dragons. That fly in the sky. Definitely. I feel like I'm playing Skyrim now. Because Skyrim looks exactly like this game. Alrighty, so this game is basically a combination, to me at least, of a platformer, a shoot em up and a puzzler. As in right here, this you could completely miss. This is the map system. Now of course, what it's used to do is what maps normally do. Um, oh. So long as you always maintain a sense of exploration, you will someday find the way out. This is my hope. Now on my controller, to open up uh, the map, I press select, and it'll show you where you are relative to the area that you're in. Now on the 3DS version of this game, uh, the map will always be on the bottom of the screen. But that's what I like about this game, is how there's so many things you can miss, and you really just... Ugh, I love the feel to it. I'm sorry, I can't explain it. Um, now that we have our map, we can go ahead and test the game. We're getting where I'm at. And so now we're going to go ahead and explore over here. In the reservoir. So now we're going to go ahead and jump over the water and jump once more and speak to this fellow who's fishing. Sue? Yeah, Sue. That girl who's always hiding inside Arthur's house. I'm Scottish now. Or whatever this is. She recently came to Mimika Village. She fell into a reservoir there. I don't think she's very fond of us. It seems like she hates everyone in the village, but she's a Mimika. Same as the rest of us. And right here we have the silver locket. It's shining bright. Right like a diamond. I will never, ever reference Rihanna again. And we have a fish here who we can kill, but I think, I think there's an achievement for leaving him alive, so we're gonna do that. And where our little friend is peeking over there at us. Wah! And they're afraid of us. I can't imagine why. We only have a gun pointed at her. Hand over that key. No. And he's dead. Ah! Dorgo! Don't underestimate me! I clicked away too fast. And so now, we shall go and explore the shack. Hmm. You jerk! And that is the first time Toriko was not able to hit me from that. I am so proud of that after playing this game three times. Whoa! Oh, help me! Help me! Huh? You're not the doctor? Oh, sorry about that. The doctor's such a cruel and evil person. He shows up in the village and kidnaps Mamiga. 
at times even killing someone. The doctor, he killed my older brother. Ah, oh, that pendant. You picked it up for me? Sue gave it to me. But I don't want it anymore. King gets bent out of shape when Sue and I get along. Please keep it. Uh oh. Oh yeah! I found you! It's no use hiding from me! I've got the nose of a clever harrier! Indeed. Yes, he has the nose and the brain of a dog. Misery! I found her first! You two! You're with the doctor! You must be Sue. The doctor has... The great doctor has summoned you. Come along with me. Huh? But I'm not Sue! I love the music, by the way. Ah! Balrog, the rest is up to you. I'm the wrong person! I told you! Not this again! I always have to clean up! And I'm the one who found her, not Misery! So what's up? You wanna fight with that- You wanna fight with that little piece Not really. Huh? Alright then, I'm gonna go back home. Alright! If you say yes, you'll engage in a battle with him and earn an achievement on Steam. Uh, but if you say no, nothing happens, and he kind of just leaves. He's like, okay, whatever. I love, I love the humor. So we're gonna go ahead. And yes, we'll save. Um, and now we're gonna go ahead and tell Jack what just happened. Like, oh my God, Jack, you will not believe what just happened. What did you say? Toriko's been kidnapped? That's terrible. We have to inform King. Alrighty, let's go see what they're up to in here. Not Torka too. Torka's older brother, Arthur, was our strongest warrior. But he was killed by the doctor himself. I wasn't even able to protect Torka. There are two keys to Arthur's house. Torka has one of them. The other's inside Mamiga Cemetery. Well, looks like we're gonna be going fighting mushrooms. Uh, wait, I didn't talk to him earlier. Whatever, we're fighting mushrooms. Now, we don't get any golden triangles out of these guys, but uh, I think we get some out of him, though. The Gravekeeper, I think is who it is. Oh, oh, we get a heart instead. That's fine. I love him, too. Alrighty. Doo -doo 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 -doo. As you can see, there's a spot up here that we just can't quite reach. We will worry about... We will worry about that later. And that was the best facial expression ever. Now we have this here. Arthur's grave. Something is written on the headstone. Here rests the true Mamiga, Mamiga hero, Arthur. And now we have Arthur's key. Which will, maybe, just maybe, get us into Arthur's house. Now, I don't know, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead to Arthur's house. I think I got time. I hope to dear God I have time. Alrighty, let's see here. Text is displayed on screen. But just so you know, if I get to that point, I'll do it. Allow teleportation to A Corridor? Hell yes. A Corridor now accessible via teleport. Okay, now I think is a good stopping point. This has been part two of my Let's Play for Cave Story Plus, and this is Multi-Redify. Thank you for watching.